Rated M for Mature. Want to sneak behind enemy lines without once raising an alarm? Be it throwing pebbles to distract adult skittish cronies or using a passing plane to disguise your rifle fire, here are seven tips to help you ghost through levels in Sniper Elite 4. Low and quiet's the way to go. First up folks, remember you can subscribe to us to make sure you don't miss our weekly vids. Buttons just down there. And thank you very much to all our new subs. Now, for a six foot stud who looks like he's been carved out of raw beef, Carl Fairburn is a surprisingly stealthy fellow. If you ever want to teach those Nazi idiots an ultra sneaky lesson they'll never forget, try to creep and slink through all eight of Sniper Elite 4's missions without once being seen or raising an alarm. Not easily done, is it? For a lot of players, it requires some adjustments to your usual instincts and loadout, so here are seven tips to help you ghost levels in Sniper Elite 4. Gotta keep the noise down. We're starting with a slightly odd entry. Despite the fact that the first word of Sniper Elite's title heavily encourages you to murder virtual Nazis from long range, you really should resist the urge to pull the trigger on that Mosin Nagant M91. It turns out sniper rifles make a lot of noise. Contrary to what the dead-eyed marksman with the soothing southern drawl in Saving Private Ryan taught us all, sniping isn't all that sneaky. If you want to ghost Sniper Elite 4's levels without raising any alerts, a rifle isn't always your stealth-friendly chum. Unless, of course, you have suppressed ammo loaded into your rifle's chamber, more on that in a later entry, it's often better to rely on a silenced sidearm when attempting a zero-alarm playthrough. Here's a good general rule of Nazi nerfing thumb. Only snipe when that soon-to-be-dead goose stepper and his freedom-loathing pals are far enough away from the murdery end of the gun that the noise won't give away Carl's position. Always be tagging. Obscure references to the opening monologue in super talky Al Pacino flick Glen Gary Glen Ross aside, binoculars really are your bestie here. If you want to get through Sniper Elite 4's missions without being seen, you're going to have to do a lot of spying. Long distance reconnaissance is the key to staying alert and prepared. The first thing you should do when entering any new area is to immediately bust out those binos. Once you've indulged your naughty inner voyeur, Carl will have a much clearer idea of where nearby Nazis may be dreaming up their murderous Fairburn fantasies. What you do next with your newfound recon is up to you. Whether you decide to fight or flee from those freshly tagged enemies, at least you'll know exactly what to expect when venturing into those incredibly well-researched unknown parts. This being a ghost run you're embarking on though, maybe it's best to keep the body count as low as possible to avoid corpses being discovered and alerts being raised, eh? Message ends. Sniper Elite 4 sound masks are absurdly useful when you're running low on ammo and need a Nazi agitating distraction. Almost every level in Sniper Elite has some form of bespoke audio interference to keep those Third Reich cronies flummoxed. In the opening Sansolini mission, you can use the planes that regularly fly overhead to mask the noise of your sniper shots. Trying to ghost the Regolino viaduct? Wait until those intervals when the huge gun on the colossal bridge way off in the distance fires its payload then unleash long-range homicide. Each mission also has less showy sound mask distractions. Survey your surroundings closely and you can often find bits of machinery that can be tampered with. A quick bout of sabotage later and Carl has one seriously noisy booby trap that will lure Nazis in like a drunken moth to a vodka-scented flame. If I time my shots just right, no one will hear them. Truthfully, we have no idea if the average biro really is mightier than a claymore, but you can bet Carl's impeccable all-business haircut that the pebble is more useful than any shotgun in Sniper Elite. When going for a ghost run, there is no more effective item for distracting Norman Nazi and co than the humble rock. Using stones as handy diversion tools follows a simple three-step formula. Step one, equip a rock from Carl's weapon wheel. Step two, throw said mineral material at a nearby obstacle. And step three, wait for the Nazi to investigate the suspicious noise, then proceed to knife the heck out of his bigoted jugular. If you want to be a little more musical during these ghost runs, equip Carl's whistle. Once you give Fairburn's manly larynx a quick workout, your swastika-loving foe will be lured in by the shrill sound, whereby the homicidal assault can commence. We love it when a deadly distraction comes together. Nice work. 
There's nothing like a bit of peace and quiet, is there? Especially when it lets you murder video game totalitarians and then get away with it scot-free. Remember that advice we gave you earlier about showing restraint with Carl's sniper rifle? Well, Nazi nuts to that. Pick up some suppressed ammo and all bets are off when it comes to long distance kills during ghost runs. These extra stealthy rounds can often be looted from the bodies of dead enemies and once Carl loads them into the chamber of his rifle, he can off Nazis from relatively close distances without having to worry about the pesky homicidal consequences. Silenced sniper ammo lets you freely down enemies in plain sight of their pals as long as Carl isn't immediately in view himself. Without the obvious cues of audible gunfire, those Nazis are oblivious to your sniping sprees. Silence truly is golden and kind of gory. Just like cooking a fine piece of barbecue meat, low and slow is the way to approach Sniper Elite if you want to finish missions without being busted. Carl's crouch and prone positions should be your default stances whenever that Hitler-hating spidey sense starts tingling. The only time you should stretch out Carl's quads while exploring all that old-timey Italian real estate is when you're certain no Nazis are going to hear and then immediately see Carl's SS slaughtering keister. Occasional sprints can be useful in a pinch though. If you overly pique a guard's interest and don't think he'll buy the masterful piece of human disguise that is a six-foot tall man attempting to hide in five inches of shrubbery, you can sprint for a few seconds before your foe's awareness bar turns to red and then crouch behind cover before he spots Carl. The lesson of the day then? Crouching may ruin your spine, but it's the key to winning video game World War II. Shoot it. Time we got better acquainted. While 97% of video game evildoers have awful eyesight, Sniper Elite 4's Nazis occupy that annoying 3% who see like owls raised on a strict carrot and shrew diet. Carl's enemies may be irritatingly observant, but if you keep a close eye on their awareness bars, you can cause all sorts of sneaky havoc. Get within a few dozen feet of a foe, and an on-screen yellow meter will gradually fill up as Simon SS gets suspicious. Fail to get out of the way, and the bar will start turning red. Once full, it's hello alarm and goodbye ghost run. To avoid being spotted then, keep panning the camera around Carl to stay aware of any sight bars that may be filling up. You can also briefly sprint away from reasonably distant enemies while their meters are still yellow. Although a word of warning, once that bar goes red, it's time to go prone like there's a Nazi nuke going off inches from your face. <laughs> What's with all these guards? And that's it for our tips on how to ghost levels in Sniper Elite 4. Do you have any sneaky pieces of advice you'd like to add? Leave your stealthy hints in the comments below and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. For more Hitler hating goodness, hit that subscribe button below. We'll catch you next time. Come on. That's about us.